G'day guys, welcome to another episode of Aussie Home Haunts. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a zombie, and this one's a moving zombie, using just an old cooling fan. Uh, so you're going to need obviously a cooling fan and some bits and pieces to make your zombie. I happen to have an old costume from a previous Halloween. Uh, and a couple of old fans. You see here on this, I've actually already taken the, the shaft off, cut that off. It's up to you how far back you want to strip it. I've kept a few bits and pieces on that I'm actually going to add my supports and bits to. So uh, yeah, I've taken it back as far as I need to. make it as lightweight as possible so I'm not sure if you've ever put your hand on one of these fans or tried to hold it but as a bit of a safety they'll just click when they meet too much resistance so the lighter the better I'm using a bunch of old coat hangers uh, and cable ties so that the attaching hardware is quite lightweight <laughs> Keep building it up with more cable ties, getting it nice and secure. And I've used some pool noodles to help flesh out some of the, the size, something for the actual clothes to drape on. For the arms, I used more coat hangers, bending them up to create a rigid frame and with the use of more cable ties I could lock it in place and kind of create tendons that help the arms stay where I want them to stay. Uh, again because I'm keeping it very lightweight uh, there's a lot of flexibility but at the same time rigidity if that makes sense by using the cable ties. Uh, also when I put the pool noodles on to create the actual flesh of the arm uh, that also helped in keeping it where I need it and giving me something more meaty to also attach the cable ties to. And if I found that a, an arm was drooping or sagging in a particular way, I'd just link up a few more cable ties and pull that tendon tighter.
of a head. Again, I needed to keep things lightweight. I had an old zombie mask that I'd used in previous years as a zombie, uh, but I didn't like the color. It was a little bit too gory with the, the blood face peeled back. So I'm gonna use this for my zombie head. And what I don't know yet, but I'm gonna find out, is that either there was a weird mix going on with the spray foam, or this particular mask didn't have enough breathability to let the foam set. So in hindsight, I should have put a little bit of spray foam in at a time, instead of just packing it out with spray foam. Because the head stayed squishy for days, I was cutting holes in the back, I was gutting the inside to try and get air in, just to get it to set. It was, uh, it was a bit of a nightmare actually. But we got there in the end, so right here, where you can see me spraying the foam, I should have just done it a small bit at a time, but uh, I got overzealous and actually it did. After I finally got the head to set, it was time to paint it up. So I started with a bit of black in some areas where I wanted to get some depth. And it was really just a quick spray paint with a few spare paints I had. The same green that I'd used on my hands for my zombie, just to tie it all in. Bringing out some of the details, a couple of different colours of green, just so it wasn't all one colour. It stuck quite well to the mask. So I'm not quite sure what it's made of. I don't know if it's latex or just the thick rubber, but it was a cheapie from eBay from a while back. Nothing too fancy. I don't have a small airbrush. Use a regular spray paint can, get good with it, muck it up, spray it again, wait for it to dry, spray it again. Can only but try. table there, bring out the teeth a little bit, bring them back. I mean you could really go as hard on this as you like or you can keep it as simple as you like. finished product. So I've sat mine on a box, stuffed the legs a little bit and embedded the actual fan pedestal into the bottom of the box so it's not going anywhere. You could probably put this on a taller pole if you'd like so that he's standing up. Uh, really it's up to you where you want it in your setup. And there we have it guys. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos.